Hey everyone, welcome or oh, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I am doing a makeover in my little entryway area here. And I have a couple of DIY projects in mind, so let's get started. Last year we did do a little bit of a makeover in this area, predominantly on this wall. This is a console I picked up on Facebook Marketplace and we flipped it. Also my mirror here. I got this at Hobby Lobby some years ago and I still really enjoy this mirror. I love the shape and I love the color. Because this entryway area is so narrow, I had to find something that wasn't going to be deeper than 12 inches. This worked out perfectly. We have had this for about a year now. I do love that it has these two drawers, which keeps all the little colorful items out of sight. I have allocated one draw to my husband and one draw to my little son, and that has been working out great. The bigger projects are going to be on this side. I hadn't painted this door when we redid this area simply because I couldn't decide on the color. I went back and forth with the idea of doing black. This house faces a direction that doesn't get a lot of natural light. So I always try to do things to illuminate or work with the light that I already have. I get a lot of light from this side because of all the sliding doors over here. So that's the main reason why I have a mirror here because it reflects some of the light from that side. The original door that was here had some glass at the top, but only after changing the door, I realized that that little bit of light I got from the door made such a difference to this area, which made me reconsider using black because that is gonna absorb whatever little light I have in this area. Also, whatever color I do on the inside of this door, I wanna do on all the interior doors. So that's one of the main things we're gonna finalize and paint the door. Also, this door to the closet is like a builder grade door, which is pretty basic. I'm not gonna change the door, but I do wanna do something on it to elevate the look of it. Whenever I'm looking for paint for a project, I start right at the oop section. The gallons here are marked down 50%. Sometimes I find a color close enough to what I'm looking for and sometimes I don't, but I always grab anything I see there that I think I may use in the future and I keep it in my stash. For the door, I would love to get an earthy green. I have had this in mind for a while now and since I'm not completely sure about the lighting, I'm gonna get a couple of samples and try it out first. If you've been on this channel for a while, you know that there's no project that I do that doesn't involve thrifting or thrifted items. I picked this up at the thrift store a couple of weeks ago. I think they're actually window coverings. It's like a raffia material. I don't think it was ever used. Anyway, I thought that this would look so pretty on this door. The width of it is too small to cover both door panels, but each roll has two of these and I have two rolls, so I do in fact have four panels. And I'm thinking that I can stain it to make it just a little bit darker. And I'm just gonna cut it to size and attach it to the door. Hey, you couldn't see it coming You might have thought it But you couldn't change it Hey, it's not right or wrong It's about trying Find the city
So it's the next day. I put up these samples last night. This is the darker of the two colors. So this one is Escape Gray. And this one is Light Patina. Now, I like them both. This one is definitely not going to work. This one, I have been thinking about it. I looked at it in the light that I would normally use in here at night. And I'm also looking at it in the natural daylight. And it still isn't too dark. I am not usually afraid of using color. I was a color consultant for many years. I don't think I'm afraid of using color in this instance. I think that I am just really appreciating the color washing technique that's being used right now where walls, doors, baseboards, trim, everything is done in the same color. I just love the sophisticated look of that. I think it has a very elegant look. And so with that in mind, I decided to use the same wall color on the door and the trim, which means I'm gonna have to do all the baseboards in this house with the same color. So I just added a little more work to my already full workload. I'll get around to that at some point. For right now, I'm gonna go ahead and paint the door, paint the trim here, and I'm gonna finish up the door, put it back in, and then we'll go from there. I reinstalled the closet doors and found it looked a little bit unfinished. I have some leftover molding here from a previous project. So I'm just gonna frame out the four sides. I thrifted some hardware recently and I thought this would look really nice here to finish it off. And I have been meaning to change this outlet since I redid this entryway more than a year ago and I'm finally getting around to it. This here is an easy fix. I got this plate cover on Amazon. So easy to just change out the front without having to change the inside. This covers everything so I don't have to take off the electric and change out the gut of it, just the cover, and it made it brand new again. Do you remember this lamp I shared with you on a thrift haul a couple of months ago? I have been meaning to give this a little love and I think it would look so good on my entryway. I'm going to take it apart, install a new wiring, and I'm going to spruce up all these little parts with some rub and buff. If you're giving me your love, giving me your love.
My final DIY project for this makeover is this little frame I had shared with you previously on a thrift haul. I'm using rub and buff Spanish copper and black to give it an ornate look. I ran out of time and did not have a print ready to put in this, although you will see it in the final reveal. There's just one more thing left to install before we pull this all together. Look at this light fixture, guys. I thrifted this on a recent trip to Savannah, Georgia. I didn't know where I was going to put it, but as this space started to come together, I thought that this is the perfect spot. So my husband is installing it. Okay, while he's doing that, I'm just going to show you a couple things that I got at Home Goods yesterday. This is a 3 by 5 rug. I paid $30 for it. It's a polyester and cotton blend, and I thought it was so beautiful. Love the pattern on it. It's a little bit light for what I was looking for, but I didn't have many choices, so I went with this. Now, I only went out looking for the rug, but I saw so many other things that I liked. Look at this bowl, how beautiful. It is a marble bowl. It was 25, and it has these really dark, green colors in it love the pattern love the size i thought this was so gorgeous i'm not sure if i'm gonna use it here in the entryway but i'll definitely be using this somewhere also this wooden tray i thought this would be great for keys and stuff when you come through the door this was eight dollars i love the colors and it's a perfect size this was a DIY I did last year. These were some wall sconces I picked up at the thrift store. They were in a natural wood color and there was a mirror on the inside. I took the mirror out and put these dowels and did it all in a matte black. I never did put them up because I didn't have the right spot for it, but I think these would work really well in here because of all the brass with the mirror and now the light fixture. I think this matte black will pull it nicely together. This is a vase I also got at Hobby Lobby. It was on sale. The original price was $50. It was on sale for $12.49. I love the color. I love the size. It was also a mini version of it, which was originally $22. It was on sale for $5.49. Probably not use them together, but I just couldn't leave the baby behind. These are some, I think, daisies. I got seven stems in the daisies and this, I'm not sure what it's called, but I liked it in combination with this. I think the colors were perfect together and I got five stems of these. I don't know why I like picking these up in odd numbers, but I do. You looked away before I could say that all I want is you and to be near Standing where you are, I'll give you my heart, peace when we're apart But then he walked by, you see he walked by and started to smile Got up and took 
talking about the hand.